Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you five methods to help you progress as a comedian, to help you progress in your comedy career. I'm going to go into each of them in detail and at the end of the video I'm going to give you some real truths and wrap the whole thing up. I'm really excited for this one, let's jump right in. Hey, thanks for joining me. Gary Michaels here and welcome to Let's Talk Comedy. If you are a new viewer, big, big welcome. This is a channel dedicated to helping new comedians with writing tips and performance tips and everything else in between. In this particular video, we are going to be looking at five ways you can progress in your comedy career while being off stage. So let's jump right in to number one, writing for a publication. Writing is the number one practice for a comic. You will spend most of your time doing it. And the more you get known as a great writer, the faster your career will progress. Contacting local publications and creating pieces for them is a great way to keep your writing fresh and also a great way to get your name out there through their media. You could have your own column on just about anything from reviews and entertainment to your own personal thoughts on current affairs. When you contact publications, make sure to include a short piece of your material so the publication can check out your style and see if it fits in with theirs. Don't be disheartened when someone says no or simply doesn't respond. This has of course happened to everyone who has gone before you and will continue to happen until the sun swallows the earth. Very quickly leading on to method number two, writing for other established acts or shows. The advantages to this are endless. Being able to write for other people or other shows highlights your ability to create material from the perspective of another person. If you prove you can do this, you will very quickly get noticed and may even end up writing for a show you are currently a fan of. Of course, only contact shows you are a fan of and understand very, very deeply. You will not be able to provide any decent content for a show you don't genuinely love and understand. So don't just spam a lot of them, find the ones that you like and get in contact. This is the way so many successful comics have put their name on the map. Look up your favorite comedians and you will find that the majority of them at one stage were writing for some other act or some other show. If you're able to combine methods one and two you will quickly establish yourself as a very good comedy writer however if writing isn't your strong point just yet then fear not there are other ways you can progress in your career let's take a look at number three social media managing for other acts there has never been a more important time for acts to consistently engage with their fan base on social media Currently, that's a very easy thing to do as there are no gigs, but soon this madness will pass and it won't be long before established acts are back spending most of the time traveling to gigs or else performing at the gigs and they will not have enough time to spend on those all important social media platforms. That's where you come in. Helping out behind the scenes for other acts on their social media platforms in return for some opening spots at established venues is a great way to work your way up. And the reason I've added this to the list is I've noticed that newer acts actually tend to be more effective on social media than some of the established acts. There are many reasons for this and we won't go into them now. However, the case is the case. If you are savvy on social media, you should be offering your services to other acts and you might be very surprised as to who might say yes. In the end of the day, we all need more likes on social media. Even me. Hit the like button. Now, tip number four is working or promoting for another venue. One of the best ways to ensure you get regular stage time in an established venues is to offer your service to help promote that venue. This can either be done flyers or even on social media itself. And you don't even need to promote. You can offer whatever skill to that venue you think you would perform best at. This will also give you the opportunity night after night to watch other acts performing very different styles of comedy, something that will really help your creativity. And I cannot think of one comedy venue that won't need the help when they start to finally open again. I've got one more method in this video to give you and it is the most effective way you can progress as a comic. Also, it comes with the most amount of work. But before I get to it, I wanna mention one simple thing. It is, of course, the subscribe button. Please do give it a hit. If you're still watching this video, I know the stuff we have on this channel is exactly for you. 
hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, never miss out. Here we go with method number five, running your own comedy night. I'm not going to lie, this is not an easy task and there will be downfalls and sometimes they won't even be your fault. However, there are clear advantages to running your own comedy night. For one, of course, it's a great way to ensure you get regular stage time, whether you're emceeing or you're just doing a spot yourself. And of course, save yourself a little money and get in an established act to close out the show. If you can prove you can run a successful night as well as perform well at it, that kind of news travels. But you must have a plan for your night. Get help where you need it and put a lot of your attention into the night. As I said before, it's not an easy task, but I will assure you it will stand to you. Those are my top five methods, but... I told you at the beginning of the video, I had some real truths for you. Nothing on this list is easy. They will all require you to fail, maybe multiple times. Progression will be slow and you will have to work harder than you ever expected before. And you will have to pay your dues. And of course, you will have to prove yourself on stage over and over again. But if you implement just two of your favorite choices from this list and work very hard on them, then absolutely they will add to your progression as a comedian. The opportunities will be there for you. You just got to commit to it 100%. Do not listen to the rejections and certainly do not listen to any doubters. Everyone has to pay their dues and I hope this video has given you some idea of where to put your skill and where to zone in 100%, work hard and make them laugh. Whew. These videos get me pumped. I know you are too. Drop into the comment section. Let me know the two methods you are going to implement. I will join the discussion there to talk further about it. However, it does not stop there. Currently, there are a lot of outdoor gigs getting booked. Get yourself on those gigs. But before you do so, check out the link at the end of this video in just a second. It is my top five tips for performing outdoor gigs. I'll see you over there right on.